What's going on guys, it's Bryce here, and we're back with another video so soon on this whole Drake, J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar, Civil War beef that's going on. Cole has thrown in the white towel, I mean, completely given up, apologized to Kendrick Lamar. Basically, uh, considering myself not part of the big three anymore, I don't know. I don't know, but in this video, I'm going to go over it. So before we get into that, make sure you show some love on the channel. If you like, support, subscriptions, I would appreciate great. But let's get into this. So, if you haven't been sleeping on a rock, you would know J. Cole dropped his surprise album, Might Delete Later, the other day. Final track on there is pretty much a full diss track to Kendrick Lamar. And this was ahead of Dreamville Fest, which just took place. And J. Cole got on the stage in Dreamville Fest, and he had a little something to say about the Kendrick Lamar diss. So, I'm gonna play that full clip. It's like three plus minutes long, but I want you guys to hear every single thing he says. So, I'm gonna play the full thing for you guys here. Me, right? So, I'm so proud of that project, except for one part. It's one part of that shit that make me feel like, man, that's the lamest shit I ever did in my fucking life, right? And I know this is not what a lot of people want to hear. I know I can hear my niggas up there right now like, nah, nah I don't do that, but I got to keep it 100 with y'all, right? I damn near had a relapse, right? Because y'all heard some shit that happened two, two, three weeks ago, however long it was. Y'all heard that bazooka that was dropped on the motherfucking game, right? So all of this time of me moving on my own accord, for the first time I was tested. Why am I tested? Because I got the world and I got my niggas like, what you going to do, Cole? <laughs> my niggas like, bit boy, I must have had a thousand missed calls. Oh, my fucking God. Text flooded. I couldn't even answer my shit. Nigga, it's wartime. Right? <laughs> niggas want to see blood. And, and I was conflicted because, one, I know my heart. You know what I mean? And, like, I know how I feel about my peers, these two niggas that I just been blessed to even stand beside in this game, let alone chase, chase their greatness, right? So I felt conflicted because I'm like, bro, I know I don't really feel no way, but the world want to see blood. I don't know if y'all can feel that, but the world want to see blood. So I say all of that to say, in my spirit of trying to like get this music out, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I moved in a way that was that I feel spiritually feel bad on me. Like, like I try to like jab my nigga back and I try to keep it friendly. But at the end of the day, when I listen to it and when it comes out and I see the talk, that shit don't sit right with my spirit. That shit make me feel, that shit disrupts my fucking peace. So what I want to say right here tonight is in the midst of me doing that and in and, and that shit, trying to find a little angle and downplay this, this nigga's fucking uh, catalog and his greatness. I want to say right now tonight, how many people think Kendrick Lamar is one of the greatest motherfuckers to ever touch a fucking microphone? Dreamville, y'all love Kendrick Lamar, correct? As do I. So, I just want to come up here and be like, publicly be like, bro, that was the lamest, like, goofiest shit. And it make, I say all that to say, it made me feel like 10 years ago when I was moving incorrectly. And I pray that God aligned me back up on my purpose and on my path. You know what I mean? I pray that my nigga really didn't feel no way. And if he did, my nigga, I got my chin out. Take your best shot. I'm going to take that shit on the chin, boy. Do what you do. You know what I mean? Like, all good. Like, it's, it's love. And I pray that, you know, I pray that y'all are like, forgive a nigga for like the misstep. And then, and then I can get back to my true path. Because I ain't going to lie to y'all. Past two days felt terrible. Like, it let me know how good I've been sleeping for the past 10 years. So all of that to say, man, I want to I want to now perform the song that's a reminder to me of getting back on the right path and getting in tune with God. And the name of the song is called Love Yours. I want to do that for y'all right now. So as you can see, J. Cole has thrown in the towel, apologized, said he's taking the song off streaming and basically removed himself from the situation. Now, there's a few ways to look at this situation. The first way is the one that most of the internet's doing is like, J. Cole, you are a bitch. Now, I'm not going to get on here and say that because how could I ever? I love J. Cole a lot, but it's like, bro, this was one of the most exciting times in rap in a while. And I finally thought that some of the biggest names in hip hop music for spanning well over a decade were about to go to fuck at it. And then this happens. Slightly disappointing from a, a selfish perspective. However, looking at the grand scheme of thing, he said, you know, do you guys love Kendrick? I love Kendrick. I don't want to put that negativity out there, but it's like, 
you showed love on the disc and some people thought that was soft but it's like i felt like at the end of the day j cole had that disc in such a j cole way that it was like it was very obvious it wasn't extremely extremely serious but i don't know why he's pulling out now because i thought it was fine y'all can spar y'all can battle back and forth and it'd be fine but i thought maybe cole was seeing people take sides and see how it got a little bit more serious than it should have been and maybe that's why now is there more to expect after this is kendrick lamar gonna clap back because he kind of just gave kendrick lamar infinite ammo if kendrick needed to and some people are saying you know j cole kind of didn't remove himself you know was scared of kendrick i don't think that's the case literally at all but if kendrick did need to say some shit he can now and he might even because gg academic sent this clip to drake and was like drake do not do some shit like this and drake was like i won't please and i sent the video of what this fuck nigga did I said well please don't do no shit like this please don't apologize or do no weird shit i've defended you i've argued because I've liked your music for over a decade. Please, please don't do no shit like this. And this is the only thing I'll say. Drake laughs at me. <laughs> he said, he said, I can't fucking believe you would pull up and say some shit like that to me. You must not know me, nigga. Kind of makes me think Drake might respond. I'm surprised he hasn't yet. But if he does, I think we can fully expect a response from Kendrick Lamar. And I'm sure he's going to say something about Cole. I 1000% he will say something about the situation in some slight way. But realistically, Kendrick's going to go mainly on Drake like he did in the first diss anyways. But realistically... I think Drake's just going to respond with some shit and then Kendrick's going to come back and I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know, but J. Cole has seemingly removed himself. And I'm very curious what you guys have to think about this because there's like two sides to the totem pole right now and people are going back and forth and me, I'm just trying to be funny in the middle. I don't really care that much, but it's an interesting situation. One of the most interesting things I've ever seen happen in hip hop in my time breathing. So yeah, it's a big time for us, but... Let me know what you guys think, and if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like, subscribe, show some love, any love on the channel, I appreciate it greatly. Make sure you hit the subscription button and that bell down there too. Go in the description, follow my TikTok, my Spotify, my Twitter, my Instagram, get that weekly updated new music for our place, and join my Discord down there too. And yeah, it's been Bryce. Peace.